What's going on guys? DBD Works here. Um, I know it's been a long time, but I'm back. I got an exciting video today. Um, but first things first is the Daily Bible Verse, which is Ephesians 2.10. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Um, I wish I was doing more videos so I could get more verses out. But it is what it is. Um, I'm busy. And that's that. Going into the video today, I'm going over my FCPC V5 complete. Uh, although you can never say complete. But it's at the point where I'm comfortable saying that. I'm going to get some of this crap out of the way so I can use the whole bottom of my. All right, guys, there's kind of a lot going on here, um, but I'm going to try and get everything that I can in it. So, where do I even start? Going on top, the placard, uh, it's the, wow, I'm blanking on the name. Well, you guys know the name to it. Um, I'm blanking on it for... God knows why, but it's the uh, it's their super modular um, design. It's basically just a big sandwich, and then I've used the XL pocket, so plenty of space in there. Um, I can fit I can fit a good amount of stuff in there. Um, a triple mag shingle right there behind it. Um, and that's pretty much it for the placard. It's super just straightforward and it works really well. Uh, it does the job. Going on to the sides, I just have their uh, side pockets for extra mags, radio, things like that. Um, I got the quick Cobra buckles on the side. Uh, I love these things. Just makes things easy super easy i have a shear pouch right here with shears uh, just in between the folded velcro worked out well got a little bit of velcro hanging but i don't mind um i got some arrow one pocket plates which i still need plates for um so don't give me too much shit for that is what it is but so there's the cummerbunds, right? It's the assault cummerbund. Um, super rigid. Works well. I love it. And then um, I also have the AXL zipper pocket right here. So just a little bit easier access. Not as loud. Um, just a nice little addition. Going on with the shoulder straps. I have the AXL uh, shoulder pads. These are by far the best shoulder pads I've ever owned. Um, just how they're designed with the Tegris insert. Um, you see they're like molded to my shoulders. So they kind of just fit perfectly. Um, they do the job. They have retention on the side. They got three internal straps as well to tie it down further. Um, and yeah, they just work. The play carrier also has the, the little um one inch velcro which i'm using for my bladder um and then i've already showed you guys this but i will do it again just for the sake of the video focus ifac And Hesco level four is 44, 4401s. So that's what I have in the front plate pocket. So there's one IFAC. And those are my plates. Um, in the rear plate pocket. Have the same 
4401. And then I have a ice body armor vent on the back. Give it a little bit more um, comfortability. And that's attached with Velcro. So on the back as well, I'm running the MSM Adapt Pack. Let's see, get this a little better. And I've run that through two Cobra buckles that I've sewn on to the shoulder straps right there and via buckles right there. So this thing comes off real easy. I can go flat back if I need to, or I can buckle this on in 10 seconds. And I have a backpack that has probably 20 liters of good storage. That's a day's work, a day's worth, I mean, of things probably. You maybe squeeze two, I wouldn't go over that. Um, and then also in the back right here, I have my own uh, custom made roll one, which I will get a video out on how to make that. Um, but yeah, so there's two IFAX on the plate carrier. Um, no excess on the side, no crap, and yet I have two life-saving uh, pieces of equipment. So, try to just be as minimal as possible, save weight where I can. Um, a lot of thought gone, gone into this. It's not, it's not cheap, that's for sure. This is, uh, you know, quite a good bit of money put into this, but um, it's worth it to me protect my family um, and those, who I, those that I care about as well it's just a fun hobby obviously we know that uh, but yeah that's my plate carrier I don't think I'm missing anything um, I, I didn't really talk much about the actual ferro rig itself but it works I have one gripe and that's just how they've done the done right here it's just real weird it pulls up like that um, I don't know. They could have done that better. It works. It doesn't fail. Um, it's just a little weird. And I assume they did that so this still stretches. Um, and it's connected through a piece right here. Right? So it's not just free-floating. It's not just connected through that. Um, so it'll never fall out. But it's just a little weird how they did that. As far as the FCPC goes, though, things fucking dope. I love it. Um, that's my whole rig breakdown, everything in it, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, see you in the next